Hi, I am nearly 37 weeks now. I'm a couple days away from being 37 weeks and I just packed my hospital bag and my baby's hospital bag a couple days ago. I also feel like she's going to pop out at any second. I feel like she's going to be early so I thought I'd better do this video. I find them really helpful. I watch them still even though this is my second baby. It's just good to see what other people have packed and remind yourself that you need to pack your bag. I am using this bag from Matt and Nat. I got it for Christmas. It is such a lovely bag. It's made out of vegan leather and it has loads of little compartments. It is a nappy bag which is awesome and I'm going to use it as a purse as well just so I don't have too much stuff to carry around. It has these two big straps and then it has the option to have a longer strap as well attached to here but I've tucked it away somewhere. And it has these two little pockets at the front which is great because there's just little like poppers so I can pop my phone in there and anything I need on hand all the time and it's easy to get to them and there's a little pocket back here and then another one here which I think I'll keep my wallet and stuff like that in for the hospital because I just want to be there with two bags and that's it my hospital bag and her hospital bag inside there's a zipper compartment haven't really decided what I'll put in there yet. Maybe that's where I should keep my wallet instead of on the outside pocket where anyone could get to it. And inside there's like a laptop bit. I kind of don't see myself using it, but at the same time you have no idea how long you're going to be in the hospital for or what's going to happen or anything and might want it. I don't know. So undecided on that one, but if I wanted to, I could pop my laptop in here and there's a little like padded compartment for it. So <laughs> firstly, I have some wipes. My sister-in-law gave me this little pack and they keep them nice and moist instead of them going dry and gross which happens a lot with wipes. They don't have this little popper on them. And inside of that was these water wipes. It's 99.9% water and 0.1% fruit extract. So they're pretty darn good. Um, they're great for newborns. You know how they say to use cotton wool pads and like hot water for cleaning their bum and stuff at first? I will be doing that, but I remember with Leo, every time he did a poo, it was really, really difficult to clean it up. Next, I just have a little wash bag. I've popped a bunch of cotton wool pads in there and a Walida nappy cream. I don't plan on using nappy cream on her straight away because she's a newborn. And you're not really meant to put very many products on them, but I thought I'd pop this in there just in case, um, and I like this brand, I use it for Leo. Next up is a changing mat. This bag did come with a changing mat, but it didn't have any compartments attached to the changing mat, so I thought this was better for me to keep in the actual bag and I'll just use the other one at home. Inside, ooh, it has these compartments, so I've packed, I think there's about 10 nappies in here, and there's another little compartment that you can put other things in like if she's using a dummy or something I'll probably pop them in there. Just a standard change mat. I also wanted to say that I don't think that 10 nappies is enough for the hospital. When I had Leo I packed I want to say like six or seven nappies or something like that and he went through them straight away. I put 10 in there and I've got another 10 in my bag. I've also got some dummies. I'm not sure if we're going to use dummies with her or not. I'm just going to see how we go. I need to sterilize these and put them somewhere in the bag. So next I just have a little kind of like cardigan jumper jacket thing with the bear ears. These bear ears make me so happy. I love them on absolutely everything. I would dress both Leo and this baby in bear ears all day long if I could. A little jacket to go home in. It's from Gap and it's zero to three months. It looks tiny to me. She also has more bear ears. Um, this is from Gap as well. A little hat for her. I think it will be too big but I'm going to bring it along anyways and that is zero to three months as well. It's nice and warm and snug. She'll be born at the beginning of March or now and um, yeah I want her to be nice and warm when we're bringing her home. And then I have a little pair of booties for her as well, also from Gap, zero to three months, uh, just little knitted booties. Um, they should stay on quite well, I hope. Uh, I have absolutely overpacked clothing wise, I definitely have overpacked. Leo was seven pounds, two ounces, and this little baby feels much bigger than him. 
I think she's going to be around £8, but I really don't know. So I've kind of gone for a couple of zero to one month things and then a couple of newborn things. Got a little onesie from Baby Gap. It is size newborn and it just has little pink, dusty pink bears all over it. I've also got this little storm and moon and sun baby girl. This is size newborn. It was actually a gift from my sister. It's from Carter's which is like I think an American or Canadian company. I'm not exactly sure but um, yeah it's super sweet and it has the scratch mittens built in which is great and the little feet and I think this is one of my favorite baby girls that we have for her. I've also packed a another little sleep suit from Sara. This one is zero to one month and is definitely bigger than the other two. It just has little woodland animals on it. I'm not sure if you can see them or not because they're very very light but I just thought it was quite sweet and it was on super duper sale. So next I have brought two outfits. I've definitely overpacked but Again with Leo, where I messed up with the nappies, I also messed up with the clothing. I just want to be prepared. I know where everything is. My partner can obviously come back and grab things, but having to explain where everything is over the phone is just, it's not worth it. I'd rather just have everything there with me. These are just a little pair of like ribbed leggings from Zara. They are size one to three months and they're just cute. I just got a little kind of like light pink, dusty pink, whichever colour you want to call it. Um, a little onesie, zero to one month. I love these, they're little kimono onesies. I dressed um, Leo in these quite a bit. They're just a good alternative to sleep suits. Just, they're really easy to pop all the poppers down, pull the leggings off, and you can change a nappy nice and quick. These are from H&M. They are still the best kimono ones I've seen. I thought I would pop that with the little grey leggings and this would be like her going home outfit or she could wear a different going home outfit which is just the same little red leggings from Zara but in like a dusty kind of pink and I was just going to pop them with a little white onesie, another kimono one and of course for both of them some little socks I've brought oh I can't open them <laughs> I've packed a couple pairs of just little tiny socks I packed four of these, but I don't know where the other one's gone, but four just little vest sleep suits. These ones are from M&S. And then I packed two sets of scratch mittens. Um, these are from Sainsbury's and they look super tiny. Like her hands are not gonna be that small, but I'm probably gonna grab another pack. I've also brought another hat, another one with little ears. This was actually Leo's hat and it fit him perfectly in the hospital. I am also waiting for some little bows and like a little headband so that will be in there as well but they are in the post right now. Those are all the outfits. I've definitely overpacked but as I said I'd rather be prepared. I also have these little swaddling blankets from Little Blue Nest Baby. They're an Instagram shop. These are fantastic. Big old swaddling blankets. They're huge. They're bigger than this but I'm not going to open them all the way up. They're in muslin material, a little bit thicker, and they're 100% organic, and yeah, I think all the pictures are like hand-drawn and stuff, but here's a little bunny one to wrap her up in, a little woodland animal one. I think I'm just going to stick with bringing these two little swaddle blankets, because I do have another blanket for her, but these are really, really lovely, um, and they're huge, and folded up they'll be nice and warm. Another thing that is actually missing from here which I didn't realise is muslin blankets like just little burping cloths. Um, they're just plain white ones. I'm going to bring two of them. So that's everything that's in her bag. I hope you found this helpful if you're having a baby yourself. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.